He is immortal. Born in the highlands of Scotland 400 years ago, he is not alone. There are others like him, some good, some evil. For centuries, he has battled the forces of darkness with holy ground, his only refuge. He cannot die unless you take his head and with it his power. In the end, there can be only one. He is Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander. Toes, wiggle, wiggle. Check out those legs. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> oh, smile for the camera, honey. Come Hello. on. Come right on. There. I'll be right there. Come on. <laughs> Robbie. Coming, sweetie. Hurry up. Come on. I'm coming. Robbie. I'll be right there. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Lisa, we've been through this. She won't give me a divorce. Did you ever actually ask her? Look, we both know that she doesn't even get any of her money till her 35th birthday. And neither one of us does pool very well. Get out. <sighs> Look, okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll tell her that I have work this weekend, and we'll get a little place at the beach. Get out of my house. Take that damn thing with you. Why don't you take a Prozac? Out! McLeod. Late, isn't it? So? What the hell's going on with the cameras? What cameras? One of your guys came at me with a video camera. My guys? No. Couldn't be. I saw him. I was there. I want that tape and I want it now! I said it was not my people. 
We don't use video cameras. What exactly did this guy see? Let's just say it's not something I want on the 6 o'clock news. Some guy got a beheading on tape. Oh. Oh, you better find him. No kidding. Look, I'm going with you. What for? Well, I want to get a look at his face, just in case. Robert. Did your club run out of scotch again? All billable hours, sweetheart. Well, I've been up all night. What are you doing? Nothing. What is that? It's life insurance. In case anything happens. Ha happens? What? In case what happens? Anything. If anything happens to me. Well, what could possibly happen to you? Robert. Robert! It's because of her, isn't it? Oh, God, Barbara, her! What the hell are you talking about? My life's on the line here. Yeah, for what, a jealous boyfriend? Okay, I'm done. Tomorrow I see a lawyer. Oh, come on, Barb, you're overreacting again. Oh, yeah, am I? We never, we never talk anymore. We, we never go anywhere. Why are we still married? Because oh, I love you. Put the gun down! Okay, look, I'm sorry, all right? I've been distracted, I've been working really hard. There are things at work that I didn't want to bring home. I'm your wife. This case that I'm working on is taking a bad turn. It's gotten dangerous. Oh, God, Robert, you've lost your touch. You don't even lie well anymore. Oh, you want to know why we never talk? That's why. Look, it's not me who doesn't communicate. Robert, you are a corporate lawyer. What could be so dangerous, huh? Look at me. I am scared to death. You really are. Is this for real? I swear to God. I love you, Barb. And I need to count on you. So he was standing right here with this camera. No, he was three miles away. I'm only here because I like the neighborhood. <laughs> it's very good. Keep the sense of humor, McLeod. You're going to need it. You think he lives in this building? I doubt it. He's parked in the visitor's parking lot. And we hope that he visits again. Are you going to tell me who this immortal was? Matlin. Peter Matlin. You know him. Well, by reputation, he is one treacherous son of a bitch. Was. You know, if you killed Matlin, that means that Curlo can't be far behind. Yeah, I know. I'm counting on it. Two years of chasing up and down the Mediterranean. If I never set foot on another boat, I'll consider myself blessed. Eh, yeah, words all the hell it's cracked up to be, Johnny. Make no mistake. I, I buried a lot of good men. But there's times I thought I'd never get back. Ah, uh, never doubted it. I told Molly and the boys that you, you were too stubborn to get yourself killed. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am at that. <laughs> if it comes, we'll go. Molly told me how you looked in on her. Made sure they got what they needed. I don't know how to thank you, Duncan. That's all right, Johnny. Nah, not many men would go to the trouble for another man's kin. They are like family to me. You all there? You would have done the same thing. I would. Good night. Good night. My boy lies over the ocean. My boy lies over the sea. I do thank you for your help, Mr. Matlin. We're always happy to help out a young gentleman such as yourself. You 
little bit more help than one should hope for from a stranger, and I am grateful. May I ask one more favor of you? Happy to oblige. These are letters to my family. They're personal. Well, it's not uncommon for a young man these days to run off looking for adventure. Even when he takes the family treasure to finance it. I'm sure you had your reasons. Well, I'm the second son. My older brother stands to inherit everything, and I get... The shaft. I know, it's a terrible thing. They thought I should join the army. <laughs> I'll take the cloth. <laughs> I'll show them. Make my own way in the colonies. Well, you're off to a good start. If you could post them for me after I'm gone. My pleasure. For your troubles. You've more than earned it. Oh, no. No, that's not necessary. <coughs> Didn't you mean to say? It's not enough. Goes without saying. These mortals. They die so easily. enough for this. How much longer we gotta wait? Until he comes out, I get a better idea of how to find him. I'm tired, man. You have some coffee? Ah, it's cold. Besides, one more cup and I'll explode. In fact, I gotta go now. Then go. Where am I gonna find a bathroom out here? Find a tree. Well, what if he comes out when I'm looking for a tree? Then use a cup. What are you, a nurse? There he is. There. Do you know him? No, nah, i never seen him before. You sure? Absolutely. Not one of us. I'm sorry. Let's see if we can get a license plate. Hasta la vista, pal. This rock. I didn't see anything. Look, I don't know anything. I'm not gonna hurt you. Your business is your business now. Why should I care? I just want to talk. Yes, you did. Listen. Look, we both know that your ass is mine, don't we? Excuse me? If anything happens to me, that tape goes to the police and to the 6 o'clock news. Now, do you know that I know the DA? It's not what you think. Oh, really? What do I think? I want that tape. Oh, I'm sure you do. It's in a safe place. What you saw was self-defense. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. 
You had the guy down on his knees and you chopped his head off. Oh yeah, I'd take that to any jury. Look, you don't have to explain it to me. I'm sure that we can come to a reasonable settlement. How much? I don't want your money. You want the tape? It's yours. All you have to do is perform a certain service for me, which shouldn't be too difficult for a man of your obvious talents. What would that be? I want you to kill my wife. I'll make it very easy for you. The door will be unlocked, the alarm system deactivated. You walk in, boom, walk out, finished. You think I'm the man for the job? <laughs> I have picked dozens of juries. I know people, I can feel it. You are my man. It's perfect. It's a win-win situation. I get what I want, and you get what you want. That's where she'll be. Tonight or tomorrow, it's up to you. If there's a problem, you'll be the first to know. I'm counting on you. it was on board ship during war. I suppose I ought to be used to, to seeing death coming. Johnny, no, I'm all right, Duncan. How's Molly then? How is she faring? She told me to tell you not to worry about her, about the boys. Johnny, I've been out every day. You can't find them? to every pub, every stable, every inn up and down the river. But no one has seen this man with a strip of white hair. I shouldn't be surprised. They could be anywhere. London, Manchester, maybe even France. You do not know that. It looks like I'm going to keep my date with the young man after all. They are not going to hang you. Molly's the boys. You are free. Look at me. When you are free. Time to be sleeping. Today's your big day. Already? It's no time like the present. Relax, mate. I'm here to set you free. I found the real killer. The man with the white in his ear. I don't know about no white. His name is McLeod. Duncan McLeod. Hmm. Not McLeod. You got the wrong man. 
there must be some mistake. Look, there's no mistake. He confessed. He walked in there and he confessed. That's impossible. He didn't do it. He knew everything about it. Because I told him. He only knows what I told him. Look, what do you care? No, come here. What do you care who stretches me? As long as it's not you in front of the hangman, right? Oh, come on. You've got the wrong man. Sit down! They didn't do it. Just get some scared. Smarter just to say nothing. Try and make sure it don't hurt. Always does. You know, as well as I do, that she doesn't even get her money till her 35th birthday. Not one of us does poor very well. Get out. <laughs> okay, look, I tell you what, I'll tell her I have to work this weekend. We'll get a little place by the beach. Get out of my house and take that damn thing with you. Why don't you take a Prozac? Out! I'll come by tomorrow. Somebody there?
What are you doing in my house? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. Who are you? Look, I promise I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh my God, it's you. I know this looks bad, but looks on everything. But you killed that man. Well, only sort of. I know this isn't good timing, but I've come to warn you. Stay away! I'm stay, stay away! Brilliant, McLeod. What do you mean you went back? Well, what was I supposed to do? If he wants her killed, he's gonna find someone to do it. I have to say something. An awful pain in the ass when your sense of honor gets in the way of your own best interest. It happens. Yeah, to you. He's got to be stopped. Just how do you propose to do that short of killing him? I've already left three messages. Never mind. Let me explain this slowly. You can't go leaving messages at my office. Everything depends on nobody being able to connect us. You went to the house. That's good. It shows commitment, initiative. But you didn't finish the job. I didn't go there to kill your wife. Oh, no. no of course not. <laughs> I went there to get the tape. Now I have it. Don't bother me again. I may not have the tape anymore, but you're not out of this. Ow, fuck. This is just in case you start thinking about ending your problem here. Okay, now, I am an eyewitness. Well, let's say I go to my friend, the DA, and he starts digging around. Now, what do you think is gonna happen? Are you getting this, or am I going too fast? Where do you think you're going? Side door, get out, now. <laughs> I don't think you realize your position. <laughs> You should have come yourself instead of sending it in. I'm here now. I'm Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod. I know who he is. I watched you hang. Lyman Curlow. Peter Madlin of the uh, Somerset Madlins at your service. <laughs> Don't you think you better get out of town before someone sees your life? As soon as I have your head. Oh, now, would that be my head? Or my head? I'm here for whichever of you is the vermin that killed the Latimer boy and would have let my friend hang for it. Then it must be me you want. Who would have thought to die in once today would be enough for you? I'm here to give you your turn. Oh, well, that's very gentlemanly of you. At least one of us is. But the ground suit you? Anywhere is just fine for me. It's a beautiful cave. You like the lining.
Show yourself, Colo! behind this time, Carlo. Oh, I'm a lot better now than I was then. Stick around. You might learn something. I'm counting on it. That was assault and battery. I could sue your ass good if I wanted to. The tunnels. Midnight. I'll be there. What's with you guys in the swords? Go away. Look, there are easier ways to kill people. I've got it. Oh, OK, look, this has nothing to do with the tape. I have an entirely new proposal. Don't you ever stop. Look, do you know movies? Strangers on a train? No, OK, uh, there's these two guys uh, on a train. They meet. They don't know each other, just like us. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> we switch murders. You kill my wife. And you kill Curlo. Exactly. Now, there's no way to connect you to Barbara. There's nothing to connect me to your friend. Neither one of us ever becomes a suspect. There's no motive. You're in way over your head. Look, I'm uh, sensing a little reluctance here. We have a deal. We have nothing. No understanding, no deal, nothing. Well, I'll deliver my hand. Curlo will eat you alive. <laughs> Let him try. I've got a 9 millimeter Sig Sauer with 15 rounds. What's he got? A sword. <laughs> Forget about what you saw. Forget about getting rid of your wife. If anything happens to her, anything at all, I'll come after you. We'll talk later. Get your sorry little ass out of here before you lose it. <laughs> you think this is amusing? First time I've ever seen a lawyer need a gun to rob someone. Robbery. That would be wishful thinking on your part. You're gonna kill me? Nothing personal, but yes. Oh. 
When the police find out whose body that is, they'll go to his wife. Then she'll tell him about me. Then what? Means the end of Duncan McLeod. Means disappearing. Starting over again. Someone else, someone new. Cutting yourself off from everyone you know, being alone. It can't be easy. It's not. Mac, there's gotta be another way. It's okay, Joe. Wouldn't be the first time. No, no. Maybe I can help. Thanks, but I don't think you could do anything. I'll talk to her before the cops get there. Yeah, and say what? I don't know. But I'm good on my feet. I'll think of something. <laughs> when she comes to the people, who are you going to say it is? Mother Teresa? Oh, no, but at least it won't be you. Maybe I can say you were rehearsing a movie. I think basically we're stuck with having to tell her the truth. Well, maybe she understands that Matlin was trying to kill me. That I didn't have any other choice. Why would she believe you? I'll make her believe me, all right? I'm sorry. Relax. It's not my life that's in your hands. It's just my life here. Oh, wow. That takes the pressure off. It's a piece of cake now. Doesn't look like the police are here yet. I should have a few minutes. Like anybody's here. Somebody is. <laughs> He'd better get in here soon.
How are you? Better. Well, I'm as good as I can be, considering. Yeah, I'm sorry about everything that happened. You should never been dragged into it. The police said they found Robert. So what was he mixed up in? What was it all about? Well, knowing wouldn't make it any easier for you. Look, I don't know why that lunatic wanted to kill us, but I do know that if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be alive. Yeah, you give me too much credit. I guess the only thing left to say is thank you. And if I can do anything for you. No. Well, actually, uh, there is. If anybody asks you about that videotape. What tape? Well, the one with. I don't know anything else about a tape. If you want to hang on for a minute, I'll, uh, I'll give you a ride wherever you want to go. Okay. I'll be right with you. Thanks again for everything. So is that it? What? Robert's tape. Looks like it. And you just leave it lying around? Guess it must have just slipped my mind. You know, I think this has real significance, real historical value. Thought watches never use cameras. I mean, just since it's already here. 
I'd like to hang on to this for the archives. Whatever's on the tape is yours. You erased it, didn't you? Worth a shot.